Alright. We're here to rescue the courier. I think he's right there. Hello? Last time I was here, there weren't any enemies. I don't know if this place usually has enemies. This guy's just chilling. Buddy, there's nobody around. Are you good? Are you good? Oh. Come with me if you want to live. Alright. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, he's good. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, he's good. <laughs> that was awesome. Um. Okay, so it's raining real hard. What is this? It is certainly coming down. I, uh... No. I thought I saw somebody else here, but... I haven't typically seen any enemies around here, so I don't know who, uh... These rescue carrier missions are interesting, because I don't know if there's actually ever, like... Threat to fight, but so where do I need to take you? I need to take him back here. Okay, that's what I figured. Man, fast traveling makes these quests way too easy. I could literally just fast travel over there. Um. But I won't, just for the sake of... We need to kill some time before we go get that brain device anyway, so... Might as well take him with me. I don't really want to venture out into the swamps, though. Alright, buddy. Let's go. the crosshair, because I, I realized I had it on. I don't, like, dislike it, but I don't really love it either. Oh. Attic is going in. I'm going to try to get a little closer to him, but here we go. Oh. Sit still. Just ring in circles to throw me off. Got him. Uh oh. Alright, we're gonna attack by all sorts of crap right now. Alright, you cover me, I gotta skin all these things. I'll sit in the radiation, nice. Alright, well, now I'm carrying way too much crap. Should be good. Yeah, okay, watch for this military guy. I'm actually gonna hit a save here real quick. I'm 
Sometimes he's not here. So. I'll say I might just play without HUD. It just looks so much cooler. I don't know. I'm trying to see if we can see him up there. Idea, so let's just run. Problem is I'm overweight, so I'm not going to gain that stamina back, so I need to be careful about that. Gotta get to the village. Oh my gosh. Where's the warning, bro? Where was the warning? Oh, I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I can't see. It's dark and it's rainy. What are you shooting at? I don't want to waste my ammo. Guy, guys, somewhere nearby, I guess, spying on us. I tell this guy to just ignore combat and come with me, but. Some reason I'm 
won't stop the bleeding. Keybinds mixed up a lot, and I'm not sure if there's a way to like cancel an animation. Okay, so now I have three bandages, three first aid kits. Ugh, so stupid. Just kind of more basic. Oh, that's MP5. MP5 would be kind of sick. 31 damage. Problem is this SVT does a lot of damage. But I can technically put this there and have two, like, primary weapons if I really want. Why not? Let's do it. But, like, see, like, this is damage now. It's 68% condition. How do I repair that now? I just, I don't know. Ты еще консервных банок насобирал. Um, one soccer was supposed to bring me some special supplies. Okay, army warehouses. Sure. I've been there before. Alright, now I'm thirsty. Okay, let me see if it'll let me equip that MP5. Because if I can, that'd be kind of a bummer. There we go. So now... Oh yeah, look at that. That's cool. Need to find out how to get some attachments and stuff. Alright, well let's go ahead and go do this mutant threat real quick since we're right here. And then we can go to the army warehouses and track down that shipment. And uh, go from there. to the area around Rostock after their last one got shot down. Dude, that's crazy. I never realized that helicopters were even in the game or that you could shoot them down. That's nuts. Shouldn't really be surprised because this game just continually blows me away, but... Be wild. I wonder if you can get any crazy loot from those helicopters. That would be sweet. Okay, so I was gonna wait until the, uh... I was gonna try to wait until the, uh... Storm calmed down before we went and did this... Hunting thing. There's a bunch of shooting over there. The storm is not letting up. I 
think I almost prefer when it's raining because it gives me a little bit of a gives me some like white noise, I guess. This game can be very, very creepy to be playing. Just any time really, but playing on your own, playing, you know, especially at night, it can just be there's not a whole lot of like background noise, you know? Other than creepy background noises like that. There's no music. It's just kinda going on. It's just you in the zone. And this guy. That is a bandit. I wasn't sure at first, but he was in the cloak, and he looked at me, he stood up to shoot me. So that, my friends, was a bandit. Which, it's not entirely shocking to see him here, but... I wasn't sure if they would wander back in after we cleared him out. Oh, crap. Alright, I'm trying to make sure he's got no buddies around here. Waiting for me. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I think we're good. Sure enough, was bandit. Some sort of like flintlock shotgun or something. And that freaked me out. Because I saw him sitting there and he was just chilling. Like, he didn't do anything at first. So I thought maybe, oh, it's a stalker. I'll go talk to him. And then all of a sudden he stood up. And I remember the last time they all wear those overcoats. Keep hearing shots, just hope they're not at me. or something. Oh, there they are. I want to bait him into this anomaly. Trigger the anomaly. Dude, I think it's gross looking. Those things are gross. Alright, and this goes to the darkscape. Never been there. Could wander on through there. That'd be nice. This goes to the meadow. Never been there either.
Heck, why not? Let's see what horrors await us. Probably wander in here, die by some unspeakable creature. And then we'll leave. And we can at least say that we did it. 